Hey everybody, this is Gabby Smack. This is the morning show, man. Friday morning. 1135. People in the queue, man. said they're going to do some server maintenance, but I thought that would be earlier. So I don't know, man. So there's no matchmaking for the raid, but there is, ma'am. If you can manage to get to the helicopter and other people are on the same server, you can match up with people who are nearby if you're on a console. But it's really retarded that people can't group up and then do the fucking raid as a group. That's just if people can't do that, then it's retarded. But I watched some of the raid, and the mechanics are tight, but they're like ridiculous. So they made the mechanics super tight, which doesn't make any damn sense. Agent, we have a priority situation that could really use your attention. I should warn you that this is an extremely dangerous assignment, so you'll need to go in with a team. When you're ready, head to the it's helipad outside man. the White House and talk to Fernanda Torres. Safe area detected. It's dangerous, man. It's also buggy. I don't know. Look, if, you're gonna, if you have to come up with super tight mechanics on anything in a game, you just don't know what the fuck you're doing. Because super tight mechanics is just timing. Not all, not all you're doing is you're checking how much time was spent between this event and that event. I'm a software engineer. That's pretty fucking easy to check the timing on events. How long did it take to do this event versus that event? That's... It's not even a fun mechanic. Hi there, Agent.
And the one mechanic they can't do, apparently, is come up with a more challenging AI. Which. Alright, it's a software developer, there's no such thing as AI. There are just different ways of doing traditional algorithms. But it's not artificial intelligence. Unless you can program it, and then program it to program itself, and then program it so that it knows how to learn, and then you let it sit in a box and it just figures everything out. That's artificial intelligence. It doesn't exist. It will never exist. Making these uh, animated characters bounce around is also not artificial intelligence. Why are we even keeping them around? Just more mouths to feed. So, I mean. When I've seen the raid is not fun and it's not interesting. And I don't know how they could spend so much time working on it when it's just timing. How much time do you get to do this? How much time do you get to do that? Sit on two plates, if they were plates, from Destiny, which is where they got their inspiration, apparently. The guy with the chest piece you have to kill quickly. Alright, that, that guy is the sword bearer from Destiny. Except, you're not just killing him. You're damaging something before he can repair it. And you, you have to damage it before you can touch the button. If you were touching buttons. So it's it's a silly Why stupid simple around? mechanic because to program. But it's a silly stupid okay. simple yeah, mechanic to program. As a software developer, I can't give these guys high marks for their technical expertise with software. Because they don't have it. There were some mechanics in Destiny raids that were, you know, a little bonkers. Stand on two plates or, or you wipe the team. Alright, but that almost made sense for the lore. And it wasn't an impossible mechanic. Getting something to happen in a certain period of time in a game? Hey, agent. Need all Where there's going to be a certain amount of latency? That's just... That's bad design, man. Okay. Running low on supplies. That's 
about as interesting as there's two light switches on two different ends of a building. You have to turn them on and off in sequence to spell something out with Morse code. Which is also not interesting. A certain amount of time to turn the light switches on or off, and if you're a little bit late, you got to start over. Which, you know, I'm just gonna say that's not interesting. Terribly easy to write software for it. All you're doing is looking at events. And looking at timestamps from events. It's not difficult to write code for that. not interesting. Server's glitchy. Things not rendering, man. You see these smooth Textures right here, it's not being rendered. Friendly control point nearby. Civilians in danger. And then it goes to shit. I don't know what they're doing. This is the first blue screen I've seen in a while. Texture's not rendering, it feels to me like what they're doing is they're streaming textures. Which... Streaming textures would allow you to be more dynamic. That's what Snowdrop is all about, then, you know, alright, but... You need default textures. Check time stance on events, then put two bosses in. And you gotta damage them both when they're close to each other. Wait, that comes from Destiny. Because 
Destiny did use that as a mechanic. Two bosses that can only be damaged when they're close together. But that also made sense for the lore. But a boss with a chest plate that can only be damaged when he's gone aggro on you is just stupid. The chest plate's going to be hard to hit. I mean, if you can't damage it when you're not being chased. Make it a backpack. You gotta shoot him in the nuts to get him to slow down. We have a priority situation that could really use your attention. I should warn you that this is an extremely dangerous assignment, so you'll need to go in with a team. When you're ready, head to the helipad outside the White House and talk to Fernanda Torres. Safe area detected. You gotta shoot him in the nuts to slow him down, then you shoot him in the left knee, and then you shoot him in the right knee. If you do that fast enough, you'll damage him. ass off though. These are all healers. Oh, this is gonna be fun. man. Yeah, you go. 
him, little chickadee. You got him good, man. dead man but you know shouldn't talk when you're dead that guy's not a terribly difficult to kill gotta shoot the red pouch so he can't heal then wait for him to fuck up with his with his uh I guess his fucking death charge red charge Pulsive, I don't know what it is he fucked up with that then he stood in it. That guy would be a bit more interested in the raid. bad mechanic. It's not a great mechanic.
Solid strat, sir. Well, if it's your town, man, why are you running? Over there and give them support, Agent. You know, even the ankle biters were a bit more interesting than uh, the dude whose chest plate you gotta shoot when he goes aggro on you. I have too many keys. What key was that? True sons? Yeah.
Also, I'm not sure why they don't just make it so you can use your skills whenever the fuck you want. I mean, skill power didn't really mean anything. Nothing scales from skill power, as far as I can tell. Drones do seem to be a little more... a little more able to kill if you get more skill power, but that's... Much else that scales on it. Explosive damage doesn't scale. If you want your roly poly to blow up with more damage, you gotta have more explosive damage. It's almost like the people who developed the Division 2 didn't really talk to the people who developed the Division 1. I've had a lot of developers working on it, but I wouldn't really call them super skilled. super skilled. Not only because I got the dig biggest dick in my pants, but yeah, I've got the only dick in my pants. But it's also the biggest. So, if you want to optimize your gear, you need electronics. That's the new division tech. The other materials that are not electronics, you trade every day for blueprints. And it looks like they're just handing out regular crappy blueprints like you know gear pieces
which, alright. <laughs> Be nice if I could craft and then optimize. So I'm gonna spend 90% of my time looking for electronics. Like I'm doing right now. And I might get to optimize one thing, one little attribute per day. <laughs> might get to optimize one attribute per day. But, you know, for every probably takes me four hours to find electronics to do that. So my entire playtime is going to be looking for electronics. And then optimize one staff. We've got hyenas unloading on civilians outside the medical camp. Get over there and give them support, Agent. That area says stay out. Well, I think I'm gonna go grab some um, outcast caches.
They really need to make it so when you break down certain gear pieces, you get electronics. If it takes electronics to optimize shit, they need to drop electronics. Hostiles guarding location nearby. When you break Civilians things down. in distress. Otherwise, it turns into a grind fest. Looks like everybody's solution for interesting gameplay is grind your fucking ass also, off, man. control point nearby. Is brought to you by Fire in the Hole. Because sometimes women have problems. It's called Fire in the Hole. Style control point detected.
Yeah, the game mechanics sometimes break down. It's like after everybody's dead, I should just be revived and healed and brought back to life and shit. If I'm in a down state. Broadcast picked up. Style broadcast detected. Is 
son, you got a bad connection to the server, man. Where am I gonna find true sun stuff? I don't know. Hostile broadcast picked up. Oh, there we go. Hostile broadcast detected. You're a real life goddamn superhero. Let me 
Anybody else want a battery? I got batteries. Yeah, when your real life is not real life. But all right. Now they're screwed. Fight them up. Leave them alone. <laughs> Where's a good place to get electronics? Well, they say solar farm area. Okay. We have secured every room and established the perimeter in record time. Good work, everyone. But the job's not done yet.
Might just get to optimize one more thing. Detected from the control point in proximity.
Well, let's check my inventory. Might have enough. Friendly control point nearby. Detected from the control point in proximity. All right, I'm gonna go check. Running out of time. I think it was this chess piece. Trying to get more skill power. Oh, you have to find something with more skill power to get more skill power. Oh, that makes sense. Somehow I thought it might be more interesting if I could add less to more and get more. Apparently that's not interesting. care about that. In other words, 1 plus 2 is not equal 3, but 5 plus 1 equals 6.
so. Is my playtime. I just find more electronics.
Let's see. Oh, that's kind of bad. Okay, how it takes electronics. Awesome. Don't need to drain my electronics. Everything takes electronics. Electronics, the new division tech. Everything is priced. I could put well of course well I don't mind losing one that might not be bad Let's store that Well, that is the morning show. Here you go. Brought to you by Cabbage Mac. Makers of Cabbage Mac. Oh, we have another one. Cool, man. I might actually like those. I'm still not sure why Outcast shit is uh, higher quality than some other shit, but you know, uh, there's that. Okay, that's it for me. Time to go to work. Payday's next week. Took my car in for a repair. Hopefully it's nothing big. Otherwise, it may be something big. catch you next time. I stream at night. 
check the channel, check the video, you can see the address. We'll catch you next time, fellas.